Yes. So, special guest isn't here yet, but we are going to have a special guest. <laughs> How do I fix it? It's fixed. It's off. Shiny messes with chat. Four dead and 17 injured. We need to... It's off, girl. I'm pretty sure it's off. Yeah, it's off. It's off. It's off. Shut up. <laughs> I feel like I'm screaming into the void. <laughs> hey, yo. Hi, Accidente. Shiny, you're silly. Shiny taking over the stream one second. <laughs> <laughs> I just woke up and already shit is burnt. You were sleeping? Alright, we're going over to the game scene. Hello. I should turn the music off. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to summon the guest. Wait, I'm gonna just call it. Wait, no, I won't. I will ask. Before I call. Also, the game is muted. So. Whoa. Have you have you not seen my 3D model? <laughs> 3D, 3D. Yeah! I haven't actually set up anything for who's the special guest. Yeah. Countess gifted a sub! <laughs> is it me? I mean we can we can if you want, but right now the Penguin special Countess guest is gifted uh, Shinishinus a subscription. Penguin Countess gifted a tier one sub to Shinishinus. <laughs> Okay. They have given Special guest is Titch. Subs in the channel. <laughs> it's me. I don't have the stream open yet. Give me a second. <laughs> Who is that? I may be a special that. guest, but I am also stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the rat. It's the rat. <laughs> it's a good thing Zen is still asleep. Oh yeah, he. Dude, I don't know what happened to him, but he's gone. <laughs> He's fucking dead, dude. <laughs> I, you know, he might be in a coma. A mm, little bit. Yeah. Everyone yeah. is so excited to see you. I'll make you bigger. <laughs> no. It's the rat. Oh my god, he even have, you a like, me there. Yeah, dude. The Fugi, baby. Goddamn. Hey. I forgot that shit existed. <laughs> <laughs> You've been away from streaming for far too long. <laughs> Look, it it has it has been a minute. It has it has. You've been busy with school. I I have. It's been a lot. <laughs> <laughs> also, can someone tell me if Titch is loud enough or too loud? It's been half a half a year. Oh, has it already? Oof. Yeah, it's still gonna be a while longer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's still gonna be a while. It's been eighty-four years. Oh, so okay, you're loud enough. Uh, yeah. well, a hype train. <laughs> Happy stream every day. Thanks, lost. And <laughs> thanks for the song. Like yes, lost, uh, Twitch has a thing that uh, it's like a, the Happy affiliate anniversary. And I was like, eh, oh. fuck it, I'll turn it on. I would have turned it on on my two-year stream anniversary, but it wouldn't let me. So <laughs> I've turned it on for today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into being deprived. Oh, shiny. Sad, oh, sad you're, you're little... gonna love the next half a year as well, then. <laughs> <laughs> a year without rat. Is bimbo a bad mm. word? Is bimbo... I don't think bimbo's a bad word. Bimbo is, like, one of those words that, like, it depends heavily on context, if you mm. ask me. Right? Yeah. As because, I'm... like... Shiny, you are bimbo -y. Yeah. Because, like... If if we call Shiny, or if I were to call you Jelly, my sweet little bimbo, that would be like, that, that's a compliment. That's it sweet. the right? highest compliment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> However, it can also not be the highest compliment. <laughs> yeah, it can be a very bad insult. <laughs> I want to be called my sweet little bimbo. <laughs> All right, I need to put Shiny in jail, actually. Where is... There's a little flashback. <laughs> Shiny's not in jail. Is Shiny truly alive? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there was a reason uh, I, inv I invited 
pitch because what was it again? D and D. Because shiny <laughs> wants to hear about uh, our misadventures in D and D. So yeah, we've got a hype train. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> nice. Oh wait, wait, is that a hype train? Penguin counts. Oh no, 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 no. It's close. Subs. It's close. It's close. It's not a hype train. God, I thought oh, I updated close, that. Alright, right, okay. So, Shiny wanted to hear about our D and D things. Is Pokeball not working? I'm being beaten. Uh. You are. <laughs> And I'm just kind of standing by watching. Yeah, you you get to avoid it. Okay. Yeah, I'm chilling. Do you want to start off with the D and D thing? I don't know what we talk about. Do you want to talk about your it character? Is. It's entirely up to you, Queen. Um. Well, I fixed my. <laughs> Basically, the the way that our D and D adventures uh started was that um. Zenith was like, mm, wants to play game. And basically, I was like, okay, I want to play game two. Uh, I think Jelly is up to play game two. Why don't we do Oogie Boogie, you know? Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie. And so we did. And we do. Uh, hold my... Uh, my queen, my queen, I heard you were disgraced by God because of Jelly. This Is this true? Holds Mike close. Shiny's interviewing you. I am disgraced by God every day. <laughs> it is called being mentally ill. <laughs> Your character, not you, you fucking idiot. <laughs> anyway, uh, I I think we'll get to the adventures of my sky mommy. <laughs> sky mommy. It is Sky Mommy. I mean, I know, but it's just funny when you say it. Yeah. It's a fun thing to say. It is. Every day we stray we stray with God? I do not. <laughs> we, we stray farther from God. Do you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> At least that's our path, you know? Exactly. I just put the uh the some Sims OST on. <laughs> Okay, tell tell them about your your character, please. Uh basically God, I think only Shiny will know this, but you know, this is basically for Shiny anyway. So Shiny, do you remember we did like a singular uh D and D stream back in the day with uh Zen Jelly Me and uh Cross? Uh <laughs> I by the way, I wanted to play more. Um Zen was consumed by anxiety, so you know. It is what it is. I, I, and um, I just go with the flow, so... <laughs> truly. Do you remember that one too, Penguin? That's fucking awesome. Countess yeah. remembers us. Countess well. remembers. Anyway, uh, in that game, I played a uh, satyr uh, Tempest Cleric. So that's uh, what I decided to do as well. Because I had, you know, maybe not... Maybe you can't call it experience exactly. But I like that character and I wanted to actually get to play her, so... <laughs> I'm playing a satyr, uh, Tempest Cleric. Uh, my god, I forget her name all the time, but Sky Mommy is like chaotic good and is all about traveling, so that's what I'm all about. So I'm the the, the good character, essentially, of our party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you like us? Would you Would you like to um tell us about your character, please? Okay, so my character, um, <clears throat> is actually a character that I use with Countess as well. His name is Sparrow. Um, he is a half elf, half drow. He's a rogue. He has a dead twin sister, and uh, ghosts speak to him. <laughs> and he's also just a cheeky shit, and he's deaf. Um, so yeah. He he can be a little bit of an asshole sometimes. He's a little bit. <laughs> no one understands him because he's signing, so he can be a con. Yeah. And then you have to be nice. Mind you, he's deaf. He's not mute, but he does refuse to speak. He does refuse. Because <laughs> fuck that, am I right? Yeah, he doesn't know how he sounds anymore, and he would rather not be embarrassed, so he just shuts up. <laughs> 
<laughs> he has anxiety. So, so basically, the way that that works, since we are, you know, two players and one of them doesn't speak. Yeah. I have to speak for Sparrow, which has resulted in some funny scenarios. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I have, to, I'm basically just being an absolute cunt to people, and then like just being like calling them assholes and shit. And she's just being like, "Oh my god, Sparrow says you're really nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, they hope you're doing good." <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm wanting them dead. Mind you, uh, Sparrow also knows that I that uh my character is doing this. Yeah, Sparrow can read lips. Yeah. So, <laughs> like I'm aware. <laughs> Sparrow would just be like standing next to my character, fucking pissed because I'm refusing to translate exactly what Sparrow is saying. Yeah, not the best translator we got, but I have a like, Leonine monk who just likes showing off and is covered in magical tattoos, also with a heavy drinking problem. Valid. Sparrow signs, I will fist fight your entire family, and baby girl satire is sweating. <laughs> Sater. Basic, basically, yes. That, that is kind of how <laughs> yeah. it goes. I ha also, I have um, a magic bow that his twin sister gave to him as a gift before she, you know, died. Um, and it warns us of evil. Because <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> um, Zenith has awoken from slumber literally now. Do you mind if I take a phone call? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, man. Maybe that magic bow is how he's talking to his sister. Ghost. No, it's not specifically his sister's ghost. It's just ghosts. <laughs> it's one of his like archetypes. Yeah, his name's Sparrow. Oh fuck, I forgot. Sparrow also has a pet bird. Kind of. It's a grave. It's like hunting griffin. It's like a homebrew monster thing. Um, so it's like a cat-sized griffin, basically. <laughs> and he's my best friend. His name is Screech. We've we've made his icon a pigeon with a cool hat, <laughs> a cat and a griffin. <laughs> no, I'll get the I'll get the picture of the the fucking homebrew thing. Um, but yeah, he's just like a little he's just a little griffin. Like, gonna let me do the thing. So this is the thing for Screech. That's what Screech is. All sparrows must have a pet bird. Yes. So that's that's basically who Screech is. Um, he doesn't listen to us most of the time <laughs> because I because <laughs> we're working off of rules of like I can't remember what it's called, but it's like beast something. It's like a ranger. The dangerous of a hawk with the attitude of a cat. God help you. Yeah, he is a little shit. We've given him trauma um, because then we were in a fight the last time we played, and um, <laughs> Screech got into death saving throws uh and now he's like scared to be 50, 30 feet away from me <laughs> he doesn't like to leave me now <laughs> he has drama <laughs> Inari Saku uh, welcome thanks for your follow the bannerman issues yeah he, he's he doesn't Inari listen to us sometimes um, it's quite funny but thankfully, in very important moments, he's had, we have rolled well enough for him to listen to us. Uh, hello. How's the sleepy man? Very, very sleepy. Poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> he, I, who knows what happened? Who knows? He's just, uh, he's just, at least he's not in a coma. Yeah, he's, he's not in a coma. Mm -hmm. He's alive. So those are all good news. <laughs> However, he does have sleepy girl syndrome. He does. He's he. I've heard him when he just wakes up. He's baby mode, bro. <laughs> He's so baby brained when he just wakes up, dude. It's like, mm. uh, Chinese asking how we've been doing. I'm guessing it's more specifically you and Zen because I they know how I've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, potentially complicated question, but basically. It's it's life. Things go Hello? up and down, you know. Hello, it's it's the sleepy boy. Oh my god, and a also raid. a raid. Hello. Inari really god gisses me his toughest battles. I woke up in the night and cute my eyeball with a long hair that I rubbed into my retina. Oh, Zenith. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, Inari. <laughs> oh, so oh fuck, I should. Uh, shit. How do I shout? 
We're talking about D and D, kind of. So, oh fuck, it, Celeste, are, is it you? Is it you who did who did this? Thanks. <laughs> so, so we're talking about our D and D character before I play our D and D characters before I play Shadows of Doubt. Um, we've gotten distracted already, and my brain has purged all information. I'm not. I, I'm in the same place always. I never know what I just said. So, you know. We're both so fucking dumb, dude. <laughs> We're both just little bimbos. It's it's funny though because like because my brain is like literally so fucking empty. I have to keep like some amount of notes uh, for D and D just to be like a, <laughs> a human being, I'm like, like who exists in the game have, world in have, any way whatsoever. I have so um, many weird notes. <laughs> like, I have, like I don't know why I'm putting them in separate little note things, one things but in one, one of my notes I have two canvas. spider legs I'm and so spider meat. An annual shrimp. <laughs> And then another one that's also <laughs> Oh shit, I'm so close to being an annual strip. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Zed. Also, so we can't we can't be spinned today. No spin. I'm 3D model, no spin today. Um but yeah, one but of, yeah one... despite me me being the one who keeps more notes, Jelly remembers more. Somehow. Every time. Against all f right. He wants he wants you to be Flip me. Where did I put the thing? <laughs> there, I did. Okay. Uh, you forget where you put me. Yes, I always forget where I put you. <laughs> How the fuck do I transform? Flip. There you go. <laughs> nice. Been... I've been flipped. I will put you back to where you belong. <laughs> she lives between the jelly tits and then is forgotten. <clears throat> Can you huge the rat too and focus on her toes? Okay. Am I really being used right now against my will? Yes. <laughs> mm. Oh, is oh well. Also, a rat in your walls is the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> She's in your walls. She's in your walls. My fucking concrete slappers, dude. Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck, I forgot I put you in a group with the fucking coffee thing. Uh, oh, interesting. I didn't mean to. Oh shit, now you've been deleted. I've been grouped. You've been deleted. Oh. Okay, I make you small again. <laughs> this is why I wanted to focus on her toes. The concrete slappers. Anyway, what other D&D &D misadventures? You just... Revealed you guys joined. Uh, do you soon. want to talk about the goblin time? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the so our first like mission, right? Um we had to go to a farm place that had been like abandoned because and like no one knew what happened to the people there. So there and people are also getting like kidnapped and shit. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. But we went to this farm to see see what what's good. Um, and there were goblins just chilling out in this, like, fucked up farm. Um, so we went in to the farm thing and we started sneaking because obviously it's, there's, it's fucked Mind up. Mind you, I didn't because I'm wearing heavy armor. Yeah, she's the tank. I can sneak. My sneak roll was not good, though. I think you rolled, like, a nine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I did not roll a good sneak roll. Um, no. So you guys just re you guys join Sun. She's the Herbo. Yeah, she is the Herbo. Mm. Our little rat. To be honest, you be... <laughs> yeah, he makes it hard to be aware of surroundings. Yeah, it has to be really loud for him to be able to hear things. Um, so he was he was sneaking. He was like keeping an eye out. Uh, his sneak roll was shit. So a goblin that was sitting in the busted up farmhouse, that the, the door was like gone spotted me and i made eye contact with him yeah, and i waved at him you took two steps got spotted made eye contact with the goblin <laughs> and then what did you decide to do uh walk back to you <laughs> after i waved to him uh because he yelled at me because he didn't want me to be there obviously so i walked back over and i was just like dude <laughs> there's a goblin in there 
is just locked eyes with the goblin. Goblin screams and like gestures at, at Sparrow wildly. What does Sparrow do? Wave. Yeah. Waves at the goblin. Yeah. And listen, he might but have been chill. Hero had no idea how the fuck to react to that. <laughs> he wasn't attacking us yet. <laughs> yeah. So I just waved at him, you know? Yeah. Chilling. So went back we over. We did end up, like, murdering them, though. We did, but that's also because he did start fighting us. So yeah. went back over to, to Nelpy, which is Titch's character, and was like, Hi, there's goblins. So she walked up to a bush to also take a peek from the goblins. <laughs> bush had secrets. Bush had secrets. Um so yeah, she peeked around the around the around the bush into the, the, the house that the goblin was in. The goblin was also just like, dude, fuck off. Um <laughs> which is when initiative started basically. Zen can see your low instat. My insta is high as fuck. Hers is the one that's low. Also yeah, no, I'm I'm literally her boat. My intelligence stat dumps that. Yeah. She got the negative in that bitch. Yeah, I have minus one in intelligence. <laughs> yeah, her intelligence ain't good. My intelligence is good. Um, so then beef started and uh we were we were fighting. There was like a fucked up goblin that was like part dragon somehow. Um yeah, and, me yeah. she nearly died. <laughs> yeah. I think it was our first, like, proper combat encounter. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, almost died. Yeah, we got our asses handed to us. That goblin's dad fucked a dragon. Homie was quite literally just trying to rest up and eat a meal, but these fucking whores wouldn't just leave the mad be. <laughs> we were vibing, bro. Uh, like, so we needed, to, we needed to check the place out, okay? Yeah, we needed to. Yeah. What were we supposed to do? We want to get paid, okay? It's not just one dude. There was the goblin in the house. There was a goblin sleeping in a barn. Oh my god, yeah. That's also was funny that a because barn? we started combat and we, like, killed, like, I think, three whole fucking goblins. I believe at the time, every single turn, Zen is there rolling every single turn to see if another goblin will wake up. Did not wake up. Yeah. Slept through the entire, and almost he, the entire yeah. combat. Encounter. And he, he woke up right at the end. And when he ro woke up, I rolled a nat 20. <laughs> and it insta-killed him. Yeah. Wait, you know, he was, dies. he was sleeping. He woke up, stood up, and I just thunk, and he died. Because yeah. I got two, two hits on him from the crib. <laughs> Release. And also, the whole thing opened his his little eye, died. <laughs> yeah, he stood up from his nap, was like, "Oh, my homies are dead," and then he was dead. Then instantly straight from his homies. <laughs> Homie woke up next to Jesus. He really did. <laughs> so, if he had woken up, he'd have had them dead to fucking rights in a in a crossfire. But no, no, he fucking rolls fives and below. And despite his commander screaming for him to wake the fuck up, and Shelly fucking crucifies this man. I did. Yeah. Um, and there was another goblin that was like an archer hiding out in a silo. Um, he was fucking picking shots at me, so I just like kind of ignored him and went over ground cover so he couldn't hit me anymore. Um, and then because I also control Screech, um, the bird, so. <clears throat> I had to go and attack. I like once things were like dead. Screech knew that that guy was in there, so Screech flew into that side. <laughs> and it's the funniest thing to picture in my mind because <laughs> me and her, me and Nelpy couldn't see into the silo. We just knew someone was there, so we just see Screech fly in there, and then all we hear is a fucking goblin screaming and Screech clawing. <laughs> <laughs> Quite funny. <laughs> mm. We love our little bird, but he does get covered in guts quite oh, often. He does. He's our little nasty, dirty man, and we give him baths nasty, like every dirty day. Man. Every day he gets a bath. He also <laughs> screeched yeah. flew. We were fighting a giant spider. Was this the same session? It was, right? We fought the giant spider. The first session was really long, so I think yeah. it was. Yeah. The first session, I think we played for like, what, five, six hours? I think so. It was a long time. Somewhere around yeah. It wasn't instant either, like two turns of goblins screaming ancient slurs at this bird it couldn't fucking hit. Oh yeah, the bird Screech is like a wet towel. He's got like 
a handful of HP, so yeah. he's he's just a little baby. Yeah. Homie's <laughs> last sight was a fucking cat bird. Yeah. <laughs> so um we fought like a giant spider and stuff, because that was I'm pretty sure it was the same session. I can't remember. Things blur in my brain. Um yeah. and we absolutely dominated that fight. For some reason the goblin one kicked our ass, but the spider one, that was fine. <laughs> But it was the same says <laughs> says she, sesh you meant to say session <laughs> um so oh there's also something we need to talk about with that um after that spider <laughs> yeah so we kick ass at the spider um screech is the one who kills the spider and screech kills spider by flying into spider's ass and out of spider's mouth yeah <laughs> and he was covered in goop I'm scared when y'all pick up a campaign hook and on the trail of a storyline, there's like three goblins and spiders. It gets worse. It gets... It's pretty fucking wild. Lost is like, what? <laughs> yeah. My bird killed the giant spider by flying in its ass and out its mouth. What we love, what, we, what I at least love about Zenith as a DM is that if you like overkill something or if you like do a cool thing, not only will he let you do, do that, he will describe how visceral it was. Screech guided missile knows where he is because he knows where he is and he's up in them <laughs> dirty spider cuts cryptic ass hit. <laughs> yeah, baby! So yeah, our little spider was covered in so many, so many spider things. So many spider guts. Mm. Um, uh, so then we explored the little cave that the spider was in, right? And we <laughs> we found an altar that yeah, had so glow. We in this room, it's like this is like a dark fucking spider cave covered in webs, right? We walk in, there's this shrine, and there's a glowing like green fire in this like ancient shrine so, to some fucking weird god. We have no idea what it is, but like the moment you walk in, you get like a weird feeling, right? Like. <laughs> powerful like weird shit right so what happens after <laughs> i touched the fire <laughs> yep sparrow when my character looks away for a moment sparrow walks up put his fucking hand in the fire yep now i can't taste things right anymore <laughs> <laughs> you know that's the consequences of that action. I can't taste things right anymore. <laughs> what the fuck, Sparrow? He's just an idiot, all right? He has no thoughts, head empty. He's gay. Well, Sparrow, Leave him alone. I have high intelligence, but I'm the one with the higher wisdom, so exactly. I think this is very in character. Sparrow fucked around and found out. Yeah, she has the no, wisdom, I have, I have I the have intelligence. Sparrow has not, in fact, found out quite yet. No, not yet. Not yet. We're still in the process of finding out. <laughs> yes, I'm yeah. intelligent. Intelligence and wisdom is different. Yes. Okay? Like, she's wise, and I'm just yeah. smart. Like, I know not to put my hand in the evil the shrine to yeah, the evil god. from her wisdom. And I'm not wise enough not. to know that. I'm just smart. I can't... I, that doesn't mean I'm not, I'm like, not gonna touch the fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Sparrow can read books, but Sparrow does not know not to stick his hand at the fire. Yeah. Does that make sense? How does that make sense? It just does. Stop thinking. Intelligence and wisdom are very different. Yeah. Like, she's wise because, you know, she's, like, religious or whatever. So she knows not to fuck around with that shit. I'm an idiot from a port city that's under civil war. I'm just kind of dumb. And also the reason yeah. I'm the reason my sister died. So <laughs> not like the wisest character out there. Did he get burned at least? He did a little bit. Um but it was magic fire. So from some, you know, yeah, god. I think the bigger so. issue is going to be the lasting effects yeah. which we are, you know, still in the process. How are you of both smart out? and dumb? I don't know, dude. Bear has the intellect to figure out a trap but not the wisdom to see where someone might put it. Yes. That thank you, Zenith. That, yes. Thank you for putting it into words that neither our idiots can figure out. Or you know to avoid licking magic. I didn't lick it. <laughs> Look, if, if, if the fire didn't hurt your hand, would you have licked it though? No. I mean, come on. No. He's not going to put random shit in his mouth. He's not going to put random shit in his mouth. He will touch random shit, but he's not going to put it in his mouth. Put your hand in your mouth though. 
No. <laughs> one step removed. No. You still lick the fire. I will lick you in a minute. Not anymore. Yeah. It tastes bad when he does. Yeah, you two are different brands of dumb, huh? Yeah. 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 We're pretty though, so. Mm. <laughs> oh wait, should I? Should I show the things? The you little... can. I don't know. I I don't have yours saved. I need. To... <laughs> can you send it uh, again? If you give me a minute, I'll find mine. Okay. Right, I'll whip out sparrows then. This is my baby boy sparrow drawn by by Tinch. Now he can't taste anything. So now, no use to put things in my. Well, he can taste things. It's just everything is lukewarm. He's pretty. He is. It's just not right. Put him he in can a dress. Taste it though. Yeah, he can taste it. It's just it. It's not hot. Like he can see that it's hot, but when he puts it in his mouth, it's cold. He is very pretty, though. <laughs> he is a pretty boy. He has long, flowing locks that he puts in a delicate braid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right, let me delete him. Yes. Okay. Grab the. <laughs> we. So you did put the fire in your mouth? No. <laughs> I didn't. I just touched it, and now the magic has infected me. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool. Thanks, sleepy sheep. Uh, so yeah, this is this sparrow is my half drow. He's a, he's a long, pretty hair bow, sarcastic. Nelpy is ray of sunshine, who's too good. And I, <laughs> do you want to tell them about the stealing potions? Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> I can Truly, tell I the story, but it's gonna be how much I've loved this campaign. Sorry. I knew it'd be good when Sparrow waved at the fucking goblin and I just had to entirely make up what would happen if they didn't immediately attack and tried to make friends. There, you can continue now. BB is done speaking. <laughs> Zen, if you want to, you can join the call. Yeah. If you want. You don't need to. He is a sleepy baby, so we'll see. He is. He can join if he wants to. I did call the group chat, so. Mm. As long as he doesn't say anything stupid, he can join. <laughs> Asking a lot of him, but... <laughs> I mean, it is. It is him. <laughs> Regardless, though. <laughs> You're not making anything for D&D &D right now. You're a liar. <laughs> Called out anyway. by girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. The... Um, uh, very big character moment was... We went on a boat, we got to another city, right? Uh, basically, we figure out some story-related stuff. I'm not going to get into it right now. But um, what happens is that we get separated for a while. Not like forcefully, but just we do our own thing in the city for a while because we have very different interests, you know? Mm -hmm. We're friends, <laughs> um, but we don't do everything together, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, in Especially now. Of strong <laughs> adventures. Anyway. <laughs> Um, the Sparrow uh, does his own thing for a while and steals some shit. Yeah. <laughs> because do, he's I a do, rat. I do a little bit of pickpocketing. I stole a book. Yeah. I stole a handkerchief. I stole a love potion. You know uh, how you it be. stole a goofy potion. <laughs> <laughs> some may argue same thing. <laughs> it's I would not. not. It's not. It is not the same thing. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> Interest. Nelpy. Um, academic. Baby. Sparrow. Academic baby. Sparrow. I think I'm about to steal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Anyway. At some point, we end up uh, meeting again in the middle of the city. And uh, Nelpy is just like, oh, I'm interested in, you know, buying a health potion. We did, you know, almost die to the first proper com combat in encounter we had and we knew that there was something pretty difficult ahead of us mm -hmm. uh, and i also i spent all i spent all of my money on armor yeah. so that's why now we had to buy it <laughs> buy quotations um. <laughs> yeah so we were browsing the shop and the health potion was 20 fucking gold which would have been everything i had mm -hmm. so i'm just like i'm talking to the to the fucking shop owner and I'm just like, you know, is there any chance I can roll charisma good enough to get a discount on this? I didn't. Sparrow next to me then says, distract the shopkeeper. And I'm just like, God damn it. God fucking damn it. <laughs> so I go ahead 
and I talk to the shopkeeper. And now I roll so amazingly that I capture this poor woman attention so much. And I just, I just absolutely fucking charm her with my magical, amazing words. She's so into me. She's basically dripping mm -hmm. while Sparrow is stealing shit. Mm -hmm. Um, this poor woman uh, ends up giving me like a ninety nine percent discount on another potion. So I basically stole that from her myself mm -hmm. while I help Sparrow steal shit. Mm -hmm. As a character who was who is good aligned and I just I'm both in character and out of character I'm just fucking crying sobbing at the random chance of this happening the way it did yeah <laughs> so just for context as well I, what was the name of the potion again that you got uh I got a strength potion yeah it was a strength potion um that cost what, like, th what was it, like 3,000 gold? Yep. Yeah, and she got it for 30 because her charm roll was that good. Um, and I managed, because I, you did it for the team. Yeah, you did it for the team. <laughs> he does not see it that way. Um, and I stole two potions. So, because I rolled really good. So I stole a health potion. And because of the combination of how well Nelpy rolled and how well I rolled, I managed to snatch another potion completely at random. The random potion I snatched, a potion of invisibility. <laughs> Which is also, you know, really fucking Really expensive. expensive. <laughs> so we just robbed this poor woman blind. Yeah. Because she was just so fascinated with Nelpy and her cause yeah. because Nelpy is over there bullshitting just like, oh, we're, we're trying to help the city get rid of this problem, right? And it's just like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, uh, and because of <laughs> me... Wow, now that's cheating. It's fun though. <laughs> it was funny. It was funny. Uh so because of that, now um they're mad at us. Well her god is mad at her and by extension probably mad at me, but <laughs> I didn't do anything to be evil, but City was dealing with spiders, knowingly dragging people to death. Rat shows up and tries to bullshit to keep attention, explains why she's in town. Lady gets all, oh my god, if you succeed, my kids will be able to go out again. Please take this 3k gold potion, and I can feel Nelpy actively turning into a small barrel of toad spit. Kelpy. You want to say. He's probably. You want to say. Okay. Uh, Nelpy ended up like. The reason that I got the strength potion in the first place was because Nelpy started to feel really self conscious about stealing. So Nelpy in her mind was just like, okay, well, I, I should buy something else to at least try to, you know, give this woman some fucking cash. And then I. And then that happened. Yeah. It was funny. Basically turned into robbery 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i got a health potion and an invisibility potion out of it um and she spent 30 gold on something that costs like 3k gold. <laughs> uh and her god is mad at her for doing that um yeah. still mad at her yeah so it's quite it, yeah so and also mad at me by extension uh probably yeah probably less than at me because you know i'm a cleric yeah her Yes. So I'm supposed to be good. Yeah, she can see my bullshit and be like, yeah, I expect this from him, but you. <laughs> yeah. Not Sky you. Mommy is gonna probably... Has put me into, like, a little bit of a timeout, basically. Yeah. Which is um, which also makes it a bit awkward. Refused to speak to me. Silent yeah. treatment. Yeah, did give you the cold shoulder. Sky Mommy is like, my child, I love you, but you're a dumb bitch. Uh, this can also cause a bit of a complication because, be you know, I've, I've been... Possibly cursed by the fire I touched, like an idiot. Um, it was religious, also. It, yeah. Um, so I touched the religious fire. Uh, LP is the older sister in the scenario. We expect little brother Spano to be a dumb bitch, but you, you should know better. <laughs> yeah. I'm the problem child in this situation. <laughs> it's yeah, expected for me. <laughs> So yeah, it will cause complications because obviously I've been cursed by the fire I touch and everything doesn't taste right anymore. Like things taste like normal, but everything is just the same temperature no matter how hot it looks, which can cause, you know, problems because I can't be able to tell if something is hot enough to burn my fucking mouth anymore. So because of that, after when we do our next session, we're going to be going past 
one of Nelpy's god's shrines and try and see if the god can do anything about it, but I don't think the god is going to want to do anything. <laughs> we'll see, it because, like, I tried... I, I am trying quite hard to, to make it up to Sky Mommy a little bit. True. Basically, I went back to the potion maker and I was just like, hey, we finished it so it should be a bit safer, and I also returned her uh, the strength potion because I didn't end up using it, so mm -hmm. I just returned it to her and we just like, hey... I, I didn't tell her why, but I was just like, hey, I have not been very nice to you. Please take this back. Thank you very much for your kindness. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, so it's... we'll see if, if Sky Mommy is going to be giving me the cold shoulder or stern yeah. talking to, but... It's quite funny, though, because, I mean, like, we're very... Our characters are very different personality-wise, but we are yeah. friends. Um, Holy cow, it's a blessing he'll get brain freeze with ice cream now. <laughs> yeah <laughs> a lot of things can happen to his fucking body now that he has no fucking sense of temperature anymore um <laughs> but yeah it's it's funny because obviously we've, we're very different personality wise but we are friends but this that's mostly just because we would always see each other when we were traveling because obviously i'm a rogue so i'm going around all the fucking place right and she's, her goddess uh is like her religion is like a nomadic religion so she's also traveling a lot so we ended up just becoming friends because we kept seeing each other all the time. Yeah. And now we just travel together. <laughs> Not constantly, but we do just travel yeah. together. So Basically the idea is the campaign is like a longer streak of us traveling together. You because two have on just one have hand, the same it's also safer to be together. <laughs> yeah, it's safer to be together. Um we're an odd friendship dynamic to have. Um then another reason we became friends is obviously because Sparrow's deaf and mostly communicates via sign. Um, Nelpy knows sign. And that's how we also became friends because it was just like, holy shit, I have someone to talk to now. <laughs> <laughs> Sparrow was probably uh, beginning to be a little bit lonely at some point. Yeah. I mean, Sparrow just kind of vibes. Scared. I mean, I have Screech. So that was yeah. buddy buddy, you know? Yeah. Um, but still, I'm sure it would be nice to have a yeah, human to speak to it's nice. It's nice to have Nelpy around. Obviously, they do have their disagreements um, about Definitely. things, but that's why <laughs> they respect each other enough to do their own shit. <laughs> there yeah. will be, there will be a lot of Nelpy being like Sparrow for fuck's sake, but <laughs> you can't stop me. <laughs> yeah. I w I will tell. Like basically, Nelpy is just like Sparrow. What you're doing is fucking wrong, and then like kind of move on with her day. Like she's not trying to force him to change himself mm -hmm. you know and uh, like they have respect for each other yeah and uh, and like, i'll help works. i'll help you out with things when you need it i'm not gonna be the happiest sometimes because <laughs> you want to do all the good you want to refuse yeah. money and which is why i as soon as that money comes out grab because you will try to refuse it <laughs> <laughs> so i will take it i will divvy it up and if you want to give up your share you can <laughs> But yeah, that like oddly enough, I do feel like they really work together. Yeah, they do. They're yeah. very different, and that means they can figure out weird solutions for things. You know? Yeah, I think it's fun that they're different, though. Yeah, they balance each other out. Like I'm a problem sure. child. Uh, I make you be a problem child sometimes, <laughs> and you make me be a slightly better person if yeah. I listen. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you can be like Sparrow. Can you think about this for one second? Yeah, Please. Sarah, can you think this through. <laughs> think this through for one second. Do you think this is going to yeah. end well? Mm. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're a good match. We're friends. I have also learned that she had a fucking dryad girlfriend. <laughs> so that was a fun little development. It's just like we're near where her we're near ish to where her girlfriend is. Um and she was just like, Oh yeah, by the way, I have a girlfriend that's a dryad and the fae wild foresty thing, and I was just like Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> we were in a boat for a while, yeah. so we just were talking, you know? Yeah, we were just talking. I learned things. Please yeah. think this through. You are well capable of thinking this through. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I am, but do I listen to myself? No. <laughs> if it benefits me, then I'm going to attempt it. <laughs> I am really, really enjoying this. And like, I look call me an, a, a crazy insane person um but I actually also quite enjoy the combat side of D&D. &D. 
I know that lots of people don't, I do. Um, for me, it feels like it's a puzzle. And I feel like it's really interesting to only have like these two pieces. And they work together really well in combat as well. But it's still like a puzzle that you need to figure out and you've only got two pieces to play with, plus Screech. Yeah. I don't know, it's it's really fun, it's really interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm not usually very big on combat, but I'm more I more enjoy the roleplay side of things, even though I'm not the best at the roleplay side of things. <laughs> um but yeah, it's fun. Like you yeah. hit things, I hit things. Screech yeah. is a bird who also hits things. He, he truly is. He is. He's just a little baby, and now he's got trauma. Mm. I was telling them about boy. his trauma. He is a good mm. little guy. He doesn't mm. listen to me mm. sometimes, but he's my baby. <laughs> he's my little son. The Screech. funny thing is, because my wisdom is so high and animal handling falls under wisdom. Usually he listens to me yeah. if I tell him to do something. Yeah. <laughs> like he listens to me begrudgingly because I'm his father, but yeah. sometimes he doesn't listen. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's it's a bird, you know? Mm -hmm. He really does like spider milk though. He does. We've gotten No P is mom. Yes, no P is mom. I am dad. Um for the bird. Uh <laughs> Sparrow is deadbeat. I'm not a deadbeat. <laughs> Oh, He's just a problem child. Yeah, he like when he when he got hurt, I immediately tended to his wounds. I was yeah. that's my son. No one hurts my boy. The boy <laughs> goes nuts for milk. Yeah, like we got when we because we killed a giant spider. The first giant spider we killed is the one that Screech went ass in, mouth out. Um, and <laughs> the second one was just from another. Thing. And we both got. We, I got spider milk from both of those encounters, and Screech l fucking loves spider milk. Fucking loves spider milk, dude. Motherfucker, like we fed it to him the first time, he bathed in that shit. He drank it all up and just roll around in that bad boy. He's yeah. a freak for that spider milk. And then I had to give he him a bath. Fucking ate up like half of the thing, mm -hmm. puffed up like a little balloon, fat mm -hmm. little boy, fat Went little baby boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he. Yeah, he <laughs> Because it was when he was covered in spider guts, I was like, mm, "I'll feed you some spider milk." He ate it all, <laughs> passed the fuck out. I we had our cleaning situation because obviously we were also grimy as fuck, uh, and I also and then I had to bathe the boy, and he was sleepy and docile as a result, <laughs> and he was all clean and shiny, and then he got dirty again. Um, yeah, he, he gets he gets so so dirty all the time. So dirty, our little dirty crime boy. <laughs> It is funny though, again, because it's only the two of us, I feel like we're better able to like keep these little details, like being dirty after battle and like such things in mind. Mm -hmm. So it's really funny because uh, I would oftentimes like pick up trophies, right? Like pick up the monster's heads to bring back to prove that we have killed it and also oftentimes be like, what the fuck is this thing? Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, so I would come back to, to the village or the town or whatever oftentimes carrying a head <laughs> yeah and like a part of the role play would be like the fact that that is kind of disturbing <laughs> yeah it's like we're carrying a head around we should probably get rid of this before we continue <laughs> is spider milk the name of an alcohol cocktail god i wish it is literally mm -hmm. just a sack of spider milk it is milk from a spider <laughs> because i am dra a drow and that's like a Delicacy, basically. His sign oh, his creature signature mood become organ. Sparrow being half drow and looking pretty drow. Yeah, is that uh, Sparrow gets assumed to be a drow a lot. So sometimes, you know, there will be a conversation, and both Nelpy and Sparrow, I'm assuming, would notice that the person is, you know, assuming that Sparrow is a drow, and drow yeah. don't have a very good reputation. So sometimes Nelpy will have to sort of innocently slip into the conversation that, like. Oh, by the way, Sparrow is not a full drow. It's okay. You can yeah. stop being racist against them. Yeah, Sparrow is half elf. Calm down. <laughs> He's yeah. an asshole, but not too much of an asshole. <laughs> he's one of he's one of the good ones. Yeah, he's only half an asshole. It's yeah. fine. Exactly. Yeah. He's only half a sol solving <laughs> piece of shit. Slaving piece of shit. I returned the three thousand. <laughs> okay. She returned the three thousand. I don't care. I Free know. game, baby. At least you didn't decapitate her for it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
yeah, so it's been fun. It's a it's a good time. It's been, been a great time, and hopefully there's gonna be another session this weekend, or we could do Monday because Monday's free as well, right? Yeah, Monday's free as well. Yeah, we'll see. We'll talk about it. But we will see session soon, hopefully. Yes, session soon. Yes. Especially because, like, you know, I lo I just I love this just chatting stream. I was gonna play game while we spoke, but I <laughs> like <laughs> I'm very distracted. I get it. <laughs> yeah, we're just. It's fun. Uh, it's, it's is that good. is that everything for the session so far? Everything for the um, game so far, I should say. I mean, not talking about like the the overarching story. That's everything, I think. Yeah. yeah that's the yeah, basically. I like player D and D. Kind of genuinely would recommend. It's pretty yeah. fun. Yeah. There's still some balancing issues. You guys ass fuck the fucking boss battle I gave you. Oh yeah. We got absolutely oh, true. We got absolutely fucked up by the spiders that weren't the boss fight. But oh, then we got to the boss fight, we fucked also him. So because I rolled like basically a one yeah. for like what five or six turns in a row, was it? <laughs> it was one of my inspiration dice that still rolled like shit. It was quite funny. It was quite funny. It was, <laughs> it was but it also fucked us up a little bit. <laughs> it was quite funny. Because it was just like you would shoot you would f hit, try to hit, miss. The spider would try to hit, also missed. And it yeah, was like that, literally. <laughs> dancing around each other, not hitting each other whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. If the spider had hit me, I have a rebuke, so I could have, you know, killed the spider then in return. But because the spider didn't hit me, and neither did I hit it, we were just locked there for multiple turns in a row. Yeah, it was, it was funny. That was the same fight I got. I was in death save. <laughs> yeah, I did have to uh, stabilize I did, me. like the fucking stabilize thingy so that you yeah. wouldn't, you know, die. <laughs> yeah, I was I got webbed up. I ended up in death saves. Screech was in death saves the fight before, so Screech was fresh trauma seeing me go into death <laughs> saves. It was <laughs> Great time. Great time. Uh, and then we got to the actual boss that was going to fuck us up. And we killed it in, what, two turns? Basically. Now, <laughs> look. I don't want to take all the credit, but this was a really cool moment for me, okay? So I get to have this one. Um, yeah, go for basically, it. Basically, what, what happened is that we got ambushed by this, like, boss spider monster. It I don't remember what spider. it was, but it was cool. What, what um, was it? Ella? I don't it wasn't a spider. It, it was, was a drow like thing, a but it wasn't a spider. Monster thing. It was like no, the, it, the boss it, of the spiders. I'm like, it, yeah, it owned the spiders. Air, air cap. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, it was the farmer of the spiders. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it was like the reason that the spiders were going after like people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So basically, I take my turn. I walk. I walk a little bit away so that I don't hit my friends. I shoot out lightning, use my channel divinity, which makes me roll max damage, and just evaporate it. Yeah. In a single attack. Yeah. Plus Sparrow's, like, arrow. Yep. But I, I just fucking nuked it into the ground. Just actually tactical nuke the spider. Yeah. Like you, we While we killed was, him. You know, so. literally moments before, struggling to to hit with my mace, <laughs> having a fucking air slap fight with a spider. Yeah. <laughs> Went from air slap to tactical nuke. Yep, and it was good. It was great, and that's where the session ended. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, we went oh, back. Pretty after. much, we did yeah. a little bit after. Yeah. Yeah, we killed the thing. We took his head because you know trophies. Went back to the town we had to go also, to, we and were then promised money for weird things. Yes, we were, <laughs> uh, and then we went sleepies, and that was the end of the session. And that's the best summation we have of the bullshit we were up to. <laughs> yeah. So, so we've got quite a few things on our to do list for the next one. Yes, we do. <laughs> Mainly attempt to deal with Sparrow's shit. <laughs> Yeah, we need to make me not cursed anymore. The aim was that he'd spring from a trapdoor spider hole and grapple one to the ground and beat the dog shit out of them, but they just kind of bullied him. Yeah, the air cap was going to grab one of our asses and just beat us, uh, yeah, but he fucked it. Yeah, the air cap did try to grab me, but I basically was 
too strong. <laughs> I think I, I just, that was the one time I rolled like a good save, I think. Well, so Zen is going to have a great time with me because now my passive perception is 19. <laughs> oh. Because <laughs> of the observant feet I picked up. <laughs> Not much will get past me now. <laughs> well, hydrate. Thanks. I have picked up um, yet another spell, so I will be taking even more time in my turns because, you know, I am a spellcaster and also have very bad medicated but still ADHD. So it's very hard to keep all the spells in my brain. <laughs> Yeah, that's also why I picked a rogue because I don't have any spells to think about. Yeah. <laughs> I just have arrow and go. Wee. Just gotta wait for you to put your dick in another shrine to nerf yourself, homie. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I've learned from my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was that was the session. That was our uh, <laughs> fuck off so far. Promotion for the fucking get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Don't chime. That one was more polite than other ones. I want to offer. Like what the I fuck know, was that? Right. <laughs> I mean, at least they're getting more polite. I guess. I, I guess. But that was a strange one. <laughs> Listen, as soon as I see the hi, I want to offer. It's just like no, you don't. You don't want to offer him to me. <laughs> Thanks though. <laughs> Yeah. Can I offer you the door? Yes, can I offer you a ban? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. That's uh that's our D D adventures. Yeah. Basically it's great and Jelly's great and Zen is a great DM. It's really fun. Yeah. It's fun. Good times. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the awkwardness of it all. <laughs> <laughs> One hour into the stream, One thing we came. How to transition to another with two neurodivergent people? <laughs> We're both very awkward. <laughs> okay, where? Okay, so yeah, what's the game? By the way, Shadows of Doubt. It's a procedurally generated murder mystery thing. I have no. What should we call the city? Lagging. Oh, in in all lower. Oh wait, he said Tism Town. <laughs> Ask Tism Town. Ask Tism Town. <laughs> mm. Uh yes. Good. Uh, I am non-binary. I want this. I want my name to be Jel Jelly. Confirm. Jelly. Continue. <laughs> So, okay. Oh, I laggy. think I will leave you to playing the game. Okay. It was very fun to hang out and chat. Very laggy. Um. Yes. Thank you for talking about the D and D things. My <laughs> shiny wants oh, you to please. stay. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you wanna, if, if you wanna have me over for for a little bit at some point, you know, you just gotta let me know. Yeah, exactly. You can hang out whenever you want, but the oh. the rat does have other things to do. So the the rat unfortunately has other things to do and and must go do them. Yes. But Everything thank is so you laggy. Much for having me. Of course, I love having you all the time. I love having you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love so you. Funny. Have a good stream, bye! Bye! Yeah, that was rat. Uh, it's lagging because it's generating the thing and I haven't- You're both so gay, you're both cute. Thanks! I'm gonna turn the settings down on this man. Oh. Dink. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't actually play the game for a whole hour. <laughs> Can it please stop? Please. <laughs> he lives in the chat's walls now. I'm in many walls. <laughs> Shiny's such a baby.
Yeah. Hello, though. I would like to go into my settings and um, <laughs> turn down my graphic settings. Because it's laggy as fuck. I don't know what dithering is. Right, we go back. Oop. Oopsie. Okay. The dead of night. What is happening? 3 a.m. January 3rd, my apartment. What? Do Turn on bedside light. Okay, whoa. You can run by holding left shift. Jump. Is there anything in here? Files. Give me my files. Infect. There we go. I need to make a bunch of <laughs> No, you don't, Laws. You don't need to make a budget for shit. <laughs> Wait, actually, I have merch. I made a new merch shop. <laughs> so, great. Oh, fuck, I didn't put my last name, so now it's I'm Jelly Mercer. This is my landlord. That me. I, I don't know much about myself. <laughs> <laughs> much about myself. <laughs> My fucking tenancy agreement. I'm not reading all this shit. Okay. I have a fucking safe. Dude. Micro country. What the fuck is this? Shit. <laughs> I can throw it. <laughs> oh shit. What is this? Fuck. Use. There we go. Barrow, please read jelly. I meant jelly. It's a fucking tenancy agreement. I'm not reading it. I don't... I don't know my own fucking passcode, dude. Ah. Wait, what's this? Money. What's this? Fuck. Use it. Okay. Final notice. Open immediately. How do... How open? Can't open. Can't open. <laughs> Damn, girl. You live like this? Yeah, apparently. I can't open... How? What? Hello? I can't open. Okay, we move on. Goodbye. Okay. I'm gonna turn on every light in my house. <laughs> yeah. Okay. When within range, possible interaction will be displayed. Okay. Is that, a ro is that a, an eraser? Yeah, baby. Why is the TV in Chinese? <laughs> Why is the TV in Chinese? Hello? Is this? What? Yeah. Oh fuck, I can just call people? Yeah, wait, actually, wait, wait, wait. I mean, update. Because people who are in the chat, is it a Sims world? So it's... I've seen other, like, like YouTubers and stuff play it. Uh, clean air, sunshine, with every place on external space. Zone... Blah, 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 blah. Um, immediate or distracted. Chateau d'Arc. That's my shopping list. That's my shopping list. That, that's it. That's it. Is this a scary game? It's not a scary game. Um, yeah. You have to solve murder. There's Murders happen. There's a note under the front door. What's this? There's time and has joined the Stop. snack. Stop! I don't, I'm not gonna read anything. Find Declan Brown. All right, we've we gotta pin this note. Pin that. Close the board with F. I want you to get rid of these, please. Okay. <laughs> so we have to. Oh shit! I can create a string. Yeah, yeah. We have to find Declan Brown. Okay. So now we can go in this directory. Fuck. Wait, D. 
Wait. I need to find D Brown. What route? I have his blue. I have his the blueprints to his apartment. <laughs> what? Thirsty man, thanks for the follow. Um, but yeah, so there's there's gonna be murder. We're a detective. We have to solve the murder. Uh, it's procedurally generated, and it constantly is just happening. Basically, let's take the medication with me. Uh, also, apparently, sometimes I need to shower. There's also a toilet, so we are we're fuck. My inventory's full. What's this? I don't know who that is. I set the password back to one two three four. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Fuck. How do I drop things in my inventory? Yeah, I don't need the fucking eraser. <laughs> I don't need the fucking eraser, please. Give me give me this. Okay. So now I have a code breaker for solving crimes. Also, please tell me if the game is too loud or too quiet. Do I not have a key? Game is good, my princess. Okay. Do I not have a key to my own apartment? <laughs> I can't leave my house. <laughs> Where's my keys? Where are my keys? A knife. Look under the doormat. There's no fucking doormat. A suggestion for merch. Can you add a bowl? I want to think about you every time I put my milk before my cereal. <laughs> okay. I'll see if they have bowls available. <laughs> Which will other what other things would you would you enjoy aside from a... Is that my key? Gimme. Thank you. Duct tape. Okay, now I can open my door. <laughs> what the fuck? Let me out. <laughs> I'm free. Rain, rain, go away. Up. Oh. Looks like you're wandering off. The first section explains how some of the basic otherwise oh. What? Oh. Why the fuck did I get a fine? <laughs> Why did I get a fine? What the fuck? Okay, I need to follow the tutorial. You turned on the stove. There's gotta be something I could use around here. Dude, I don't have shit anymore. <laughs> Fucking... Look for hairpins or paper clips. Okay, let's look in the, the bathroom. Maybe... Dude, please. Is there anything in my fridge? What is that? Why is there a battery? Hello? This is such a cozy apartment. I would like to live here. Yeah. What is this black thing on the wall? Ah, oh, fuck. Up oh, hairpin? Where? What? Oh, now it's telling me where the hairpin is. Randomly on there, okay. Unlock the box by interact with- okay, let me in. It's art, modern art. 
detective stuff. Access, I know. The top group of items do not take inventory space. You can drop or scan picked up items for frequent rents. Well, when I once I was discovered, you can assign hot keys to inventory space by hovering over them and pressing the desired key. Okay. Paxadol. I already have some Paxadol. Okay. Now can I leave? Open the case of board and like the end. Okay. I've already plotted the route. Can I leave? Am I allowed to leave now? Okay. Okay. All right, we're gonna solve crimes. Whatever. Book two. Hi. What's your name? Uh, uh bye. I know your name now. What's your name? Who are you? Let me speak to you. Hi. Okay. <laughs> So some some cunt is a murderer and we gotta find out which one it is. Okay, no one's nice to me. <laughs> I'm just trying to ask their name, bro. Let me in. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, he dead. Oh my fucking god, he fucking dead. Okay. Young adult, can I inspect you? It's not that way. Okay, search. A bullet wound from low caliber. Okay. So these two bitches are connected. Shh, shh. Fuck you. Connected. Yes. It appears that the victim has been shot to death with a pistol or revolver. I can determine the time of death between midnight and 1.15 Tuesday, January 3rd, 1979! Yeah. Videotape? Oh, is that... No, that's a code breaker. Does he have a... He has a safe. The safe is open. Convenient. The life insurance policy, unfortunately... Can I fucking... Please! <laughs> Unfortunately, our checks indicate that you do not meet the required social or economic requirements to be approved for one of our policies. Why not check out our range of alternatives for ex-offenders and thus and those less fortunate, such as our salary requisition scheme? Wishing you luck, customer service representative number 47. Okay, so Mr. Declan ain't getting shit. You look especially fair and freckly today. That's gay. I'm gonna drop this bandit. Because <laughs> I want this, whatever that is. One note. Remember your passcode this time, 75-7251. Once again, me being unable to read letters. Okay, Scarlet Solutions and Declan Brown are connected. 303 Peng Suite. Okay. Crumple paper. Receipt for tax records. Oh my god, there's so many. Call me N. Fuck is N. No, I didn't want to take it. Oh shit. Okay. A knife. A combat knife specifically. This man's is trying to kill people. 
Ooh. Employment agreement, private confidential scar solutions for the agreed amount of 37,900. I'm bad at reading numbers. Okay. So we have more information on Big Declan. Safe code 7. Yeah, the, the thing is open. Pickle DIY store. Password devil? Thanks for the pet. Right, he works 9 to 5. Is that blood? What is this? What is this? What this? What this? What this? Is, a, is that a condom? What is that? What is? It won't let me pick up. It looks vaguely condom sh packet shaped, you know what I mean? At least he's practicing safe sex. Also, I don't know why he'd put it in there, but it's it's not letting me touch it. So, we just have to assume. Lumet's fire batons? What? Wait, should I get? I should try and get fingerprints off of things, shouldn't I? <laughs> I should try and. Don't forget who owns you. Damn, that's a lot of people. <laughs> I want that, but I don't have... I can fucking <laughs> shift matches. Ah. Take the vial to a local sync clinic to upgrade one of your installed discs. Okay, all right. Okay. Print scanner. Ah! Number four, okay. How does it work? Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm finding a bunch of fingerprints. <laughs> okay, so this... Dead person is definitely Declan Brown, I think. So they he he he's been murdered. Okay. Okay, we've definitely definitely got all of his fingerprints. <laughs> Man's definitely did live here, for sure. Oh, 
I've got a type B fingerprint. Different fingerprint. There's so many, so many things. So many things. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is this board? <laughs> okay. So fingerprint type B is I'm assuming the person who murdered you. And he just touched everything, huh? He in a silly pose. He dead. He dead, bro. Why are you laughing at his silly pose? The man is dead. Which one was the ominous note again? Is it this one? Yeah. Hello. Mm. Oh, hi, cheese. And I cheese has become an Earl slash Countess. The check recents by dial. Okay. Dial. Uh, fuck. What was it? Five, four, one. There, 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 there. Last caller was. That. Okay. Hi, Cheese. How are you, Cheese? We're trying to find out who murdered Declan Brown. We're in his apartment trying to find clues. Alright, what was the number? 32363. Three, fuck. 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 Let's see if it answers. It was his brother, Chris Brown. Damn. You could be right. They're not gonna answer, are they? Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, the matchbook. Uh... Okay. Oh, I can search the trash? Onyx Badger Chick Kitchen. Oh my god, I can't read. Okay, so... When did he possibly get murdered? Oh. Uh-oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. How do I... Let me in! <laughs> the fucking cops! The fucking cops, dude! Okay, so... He got- he got murdered the same evening. For- and he was here. So we'll go to the kitchen. And see what was going on here. I don't want to go into some other person's apartment. <laughs> There's gotta be some other fucking way out of here. That doesn't involve me going into another person's apartment. Okay, I hear rain. That's a good sign. <laughs> also, can I just say I love the colors of all the, all the metal. It's like very rainbowy. I enjoy that. Please, I just want to be free of the vents. Please. I'm scared. There's gonna be. Now I'm in someone else's apartment. Uh oh. Oh no, they're- are they- 
Fuck, fuck, fuck. James Hello Pretty. Please, 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 please. Goodbye. Um <laughs> It is a very pretty game. Um I, I didn't <laughs> Goodbye. I'm wet. <laughs> Help. Like a murder case resolution from City Hall. Okay, we'll go there first. Because that's what the tutorial wants me to do. Thanks for the pet. Hi. Okay, I've collected the form. The top right section of my case board? Ah, I can resolve. I have Okay. I don't I don't have any information on where this guy is. Wait, yeah, I could go to where he used to work as well. Scarlet Solution. So let's go there first. Fuck, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, go. Okay. Is this? This. Oh, I'm cold. Guys, I'm cold. Oh, what? <laughs> what, what? Shadows of, of doubt. There are almost always multiple ways to carry out investigation. Here are the current available leads. Choose one as a start to be guided through. Remember, in the main game, you'll have to think for yourself, detective. In addition, due to simulated nature of this game, some leads could be dead ends, just part of the job. If you think you have enough information to solve the case, fill in the resolution form and I do not. Okay, I'm going to investigate the office. You can search for public or visit a location or inspect the reservoir testing F1. Okay. Is it... Um, hello. Wait, can I just take the lift? <laughs> How many times am I going to press the wrong button? Right, it's how parks. Okay, whatever. We'll just go. I don't know how long that lift is going to take. Oh, it's there. This. <laughs> I'm too dumb for detective games. Uh, I don't know what floor it's on. <laughs> Probably paid <page> ten. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I think I'm just gonna need to walk, huh? <laughs> Is this? I just thought it looked fun because you know. Oh, it's here. We're here. Hello. Can I go in? No. Hi. Do you work here? Hi. You know this person. None of your business. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to me. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to go through the vents, aren't I? Oh, this is the ladies' room. Okay. Well, I, no, I can go in here. What? <laughs> what? I fell. I fucking fell. I fucking fell. Can I? Farewell. No, wait, it's the same floor. Well, I want to find a vent that will get me in here. From the same. Is there someone in the bathroom? Oh no, that's just a bed, isn't it? A box. Why is there a cardboard box in I'm going to open all of these. Are there people in here? A fucking machine gun? Fuck. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go up a floor and see if there's a vent I can access up here that could get me to where I want to go. <laughs> I would just go in, but there's a fucking camera. Can I stand on the box to get closer? No. Bullshit. Why? What is that? Gas release system! Why is there a gas release system in the fucking bathroom? Okay, so I've sabotaged it. I don't- <laughs> I fucking don't know what I'm trying to accomplish it. Give me some sugar, daddy. Fuck. Don't you have a gas release system in your local bathroom? You're so right. How could I forget about my local gas release system? <laughs> Commonplace in every situation. <laughs> okay, into the, in, mm, in, into the vent. Into the vent. Into the vent. I can... Let me in. We just need to... Wait, can I go up? I can. No, I can't. I'm just do. I close it because it's probably suspicious if it stays open, huh? I wish I could go down faster, but I'm stuck at this speed forever, apparently. So we need to get back up. So I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna. Mm, that goes down because I want to go. I'm gonna go. One of these ways has to lead to an up. Let's go up. It does. <laughs> Is this just gonna lead me to the bathroom again? Yeah. Just a different bathroom. <laughs> nope, that's just the bathroom again. Everything leads to the fucking bathrooms. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm on the side of the door I shouldn't be on now. Uh oh. Fuck. If the sentries spot me, I'm gonna die. <laughs> you can see me being distracted. Kill. Oh, see? I don't know I'm here anymore. I'm sneaky. Just have to be careful not to get caught again. <laughs> I love this first person. <laughs> I don't even have ADHD. I just have tism. <laughs> Demetrius Crillo. I don't know if you're relevant, but <laughs> you're on the board. <laughs> what is this? No, I I am just autism. Oh, wait, I should scan for thingy prints. Mm. We need to find type B. So this guy is not, this guy ain't it. We need type B. 
Type E. <laughs> Scary. I mislabeled your ism. It's okay. Everyone does eventually. I'm not gonna kick your ass because that's literally what you want. I've already scanned this one. Well, with the with the glasses here. That's type E. God damn it. Why is why is type E touching this desk? This chair. This isn't his desk. Is there a pet play in this office? Why are there so many suspiciously low friends? <laughs> Shiny. Oh fuck, there's a camera over there as well. I don't want to get caught by that camera at all. <laughs> Wait, I should go in the camera room. Wait, my princess, what? So you don't get ADHD, but you do get distracted easily, right? I just have problems in general. Count up from one? What do you mean? Is it just one, two, three, four for this as well? Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> Why is there... <laughs> the people in this office are fucking stupid, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Why do they have a chemistry set in here? Hello? Oh, secret envelope. Toxicology report on product YX YCX12. YX is why see it? I can't speak. I can't speak. <laughs> it's packaged and sold under the name Paxidol. Several months ago, company officials were informed the new additives to the product were causing severe side effects. The report details the toxicological findings. Uh, short conclusion has the potential to reduce moderate to severe side effects in consumers. These include, but are not limited to, cirrhosis, mild psychosis, insomnia. That's Okay. Well... Oh shit, there's more. They have two different secret envelopes in the drawer. Oh shit, I have pictures of people now. Oh shit, wait, wait, wait. Several reports of them flirting with other employees. Okay, pros is a distraction to other staff. Always conversing about sports. Smoker. <laughs> Angelina Bowman. <laughs> Not the same fingerprint, so she's just a problem child, apparently. Oh, <gasps> wait, 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 same fingerprint, same fingerprint. Confirm. This is, I think, this seems like it's the same fingerprint, right? On, yeah. Am I stupid? It's the same fingerprint, right? It looks the exact same. Yeah! So it might be this Juan Manning fellow. Okay, that's good. We've got something. 
Because that's the only other fingerprints that were in the house. And it's the same one as this dude. <laughs> so he could... I think he could be the killer. My page is different, so he can get fucked. Nope. Oh shit, but it... Oh wait, it could be this guy as well, actually. Fuck. Fuck. It could be... It could be... It could be... It could be Juan or it could be Kakona. Shit. Shit. It could be Juan or it could be him. Oh no. My board is a mess. Hello. God. Okay, so we're gonna have to investigate both of these dudes. <laughs> Not her. Nope. Okay, so we have two suspects now, so that's fun. Uh, let me turn off the surveillance cameras. <laughs> oh, wait. <gasps> Monday. Oh, fuck, I pressed the wrong button. Curie. Turn off everything, please. Okay, that was, that was all that was available. Fog. Employee database. Search the cook. Oh, uh, no. Gimme. Gimme. The fingerprints look really similar. Uh, what was the other guy's name? Juan. Okay. Fingerprints. How are their fingerprints nearly the exact same? Oh my god. Okay. Go out of this. What else can we do on this computer? Uh, profile? What's in the email? Top, <laughs> Candice Lopez, top quality fish, fresh fish, real fish, available prices today. Okay. Let's control it. What is this? Man gets a lot of spam email on his work computer, doesn't he? Okay. Right. Surveillance. There's not really anything going on in that. This is the same the whole way through. What about, yeah, what about what about the background? What's going on with this? Is there someone in here? There might be someone in here. <laughs> I turned that off. Or maybe I didn't. <laughs> I swear I heard a door open and close. What time is it? Okay, there shouldn't be anyone in the office yet. It's not time. Oh, 
Oh fuck, wrong one again. Nobody. Okay, so that one, I don't know why this one's. But this should be okay. Oh my god, okay. So we have two fucking leads now. <laughs> we have we have Big Juan or Kokoda. One of these two is the murderer. <laughs> so we have to we have to find out where they live. <laughs> Wait. I wanna go to the ground floor, please. Um, have a good investigation. Okay, have a good nap. Thanks for hanging me out. <laughs> okay, we have two clues. We have two leads. A dirty napkin. Ah, thanks for the hydrate. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Case Handen. I'm so confused. I'm holding the questions in the case hand in form. This is the resolution. Okay. Oops. I need to stop right clicking the doors because it is it it's snowing, dude. It's snowing. Oh, telephone. Perfect. Okay, so it's not up. So it's either Juan Manning or Maureen. Okay. Okay. Have his apartment. So now for Mori. Seems like he lives with someone, so that's fun. We'll go we'll go to his place first. I can't. Let's go. We're gonna figure out this murder. It's one of these two bitches. Hi, can I talk to you? I need to go to the seventh floor. <laughs> it's nearly six AM. <laughs> He's gonna be awake, right? <laughs> okay. Hello? I'm awake? Wow, good job, Shiny. Oh, you're naked. Hello? None of your business. Oh, I... <laughs> Do you know... Do you know yourself? That's me! Wow. 
That's me, what's it to you? You're possibly a murder suspect. They work at Diamond System. Yeah. I saw them somewhere around Hal Parks. Okay, so you saw both of them. Can I come in? And why not? You seen anything? Nothing. Okay. Well, currently, right now, goodbye. Um, right, we'll go check out where Juan lives, which is in this one. Oh. I can't remember where I am. If I'm being honest, I cannot remember where I am. <laughs> How was your day, Shiny? Gay. Uh, I mean... <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. I got murdered to solve. This morning I had to do a lot of work. That's gross. Someone fucking litters. Yeah. So today started out tiring. Then I passed out when I got home. Hell yeah. Slept to your stream. Yeah. Best way to spend your day for real. Okay. Am I in the right place? Let me in. I want to go to... No, fifth floor! Fuck! I want to go fourth floor. Thanks! Now are you still sleepy, baby? Someone's coming. Yes. Oh, you sleepy baby. Hello, you're a possible murderer. I would like to speak to you. You're already being mean. Juan is already not looking too good. They had short brown hair hair. I saw them today at 3 or 3 Peng Sweets around 03M. They were looking angry. Can I please just... Dude, I'm gonna have to break into your house if you don't start being nice to me. Suffers from asthma. Saw them today at 3 or 3 Peng Sweets around 6 a.m. Oh, they... No, you... You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. Declan died at, like, midnight. If I keep asking you, maybe he'll say yes. I'm gonna have to break into his house. He's the murderer. He's the murderer. Like, Kokona was... Was at least nice. Um, but he's... 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 Coward. <laughs> Bye. Have a nice day. Uh, I know you killed someone. Please. I know what you did. <laughs> Suspicious, angry, and anxious. Like me. I know what he- I mean, I know he's the murderer. I know he did a crime. My princess, what?
Is I said it because he looks like he murdered someone. He did. Is it him? You're not suspicious. I know, but I mean, you're not wrong. But damn, they're washing the fucking shit out of their hands, huh? I don't even know if this is his apartment. <laughs> I'm just in Gunt's house. Is this Declan's house? Not Dr. Declan. Fun. I go back into the vent real quick because I. Shit, where is it? Oh fuck, am I stuck in here now? <laughs> I might be stuck in here. <laughs> yeah, we're in we're in his house. We're in we're in his flat. I successfully made my way into his flat. So we are here. We are fucked though, because I don't know if he's still in here or not. <laughs> he might be gone, he might not be. Oh, he's still here. Okay, um, that makes us a little bit awkward. No, that's going to set off an alarm. I shouldn't put in random passcodes. <laughs> I fucking knocked on the door. <laughs> I knocked on the door. Tiny, tiny, I knocked on the door. It was an accident! <laughs> I keep right clicking instead of left clicking. No, I'm under his bed. It was fucking bugs in his house! <laughs> He's watching the TV. That's fun. Damn, why does he have so many fucking roaches in his house? I heard a door go. We're just robbing him. He's a possible murderer. We're fine. See, the worst part is because I know he's in the house, but I don't know where he is in the house. He's sitting on the bed. <laughs> uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> is he going to sleep? What is he doing? What is he doing? Why is he turning the lights off and saying on his bed? What is he doing? <laughs> this is... He's going to sleep! Okay, he's still sleeping. Um, I guess we go. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta fucking go. We gotta go. Where's the door? <laughs> Fuck. Okay. <laughs> 
Mēs tūslīm. Mēs tūslīm. Oh, his wallet. Give me that. Take key, take money. <laughs> this is stressful. What soap? Can I eat his food? I'm hungry. Can I <laughs> Wait, what's on the note on the fridge? That says work, Roa. Okay. I shouldn't run around. I shouldn't touch the turntable. That's gonna make me... I am fully just praying he's gonna stay asleep, by the way. Okay, it's 7.20am. What day is it? Tuesday. He has work today. He has work today. And he's sleeping. Okay, that leads to the landing. What is this? His bathroom. This is where we came in. So that's his bedroom there, and that's the other entrance to this thing. Okay. <laughs> Can I? Okay. Well, I can just leave because I do have his key. Oh. So... Okay, so we <laughs> what happened? That happened. Did we find something? No, but he's suspicious because he said that he saw someone at six AM on Monday. And like he the guy died. Fuck, where's my thing? We are in his house under his bed. Well, no. <laughs> Shush. Do I have a thing telling me the details of his death? Because I had a thing that said his death is, uh... Thing. Okay, I guess it... Aha, okay, he died at midnight on Tuesday. So he is a sparrow if he was an investigator. Shut up. This is just me being stupid. All right, so he died early Tuesday morning. And he the Juan said he saw someone suspicious with short hair around where Declan lives at 6 a.m. on Monday. Oh my god. Declan also did go to this place for food. So we will go investigate that right now. I have a f I don't know. I think it, Juan might be the killer. But I also need to go back into Juan's house when he's at work so that I can actually look around because <laughs> I can't find shit when I know he's in there because I need to be sneaky. <laughs> Is this it? What's up? I'm Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. Hi. And I... What's your name? That you literally just told me your name. Um... Nothing. And mind your own business. What the fuck? Wow, this person's not very good at her being nice to me, so. Uh, let's talk to the other guy. Hi. Uh, what's your name? Fucking Christ. Got any spare change? Yeah. Okay, he's more willing to talk to me. I saw them somewhere around Peng Suites, okay.
Okay. I need... I low-key need to look at the surveillance cameras to see if he was here or not. Which he was, he was, we know, because he had a receipt saying that he was there. So I... I got... oh. I gotta be in. A single eraser on the shelf. I'm not gonna have enough log picks to do this, am I? Oh, I do, okay. Call logs. Incoming calls, outgoing calls. Wait, what was the number that called? Where did I put that note? Okay, that's not the same number. Whose fucking number is this? <laughs> this fucking face is weird, dude. Ah, shit. There is full damage in this game, by the way, so I, I can't be stupid. I need to try and be at least a little careful. Uh, into the vent I go. <laughs> I love when it highlights those security cameras. Really makes the anxiety just go crazy. But, uh, am I in the right room? I think I'm fucking. I got myself in the exact right room. Let's go. I need a passcode, don't I, to get into this? Fuck. I need to get the passcode. <laughs> Thankfully, people here are kind of dumb and will put the passcode in on a notepad on something random. Oh, someone's coming! Oh no! <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> Are they? Okay, they're leaving. <laughs> that was fucking Rifle. Rifle ammunition! Oh, money. Can I scan the footprint? A hearing aid?
Okay. Just some security breaker? Off. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I, I wasn't doing anything. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Let's go back to uh the suite. That this guy lives in because I think he might be at work now or at least leaving from work. <laughs> He's still in the house. Can I go through his mail? No, I shouldn't. <laughs> There's guns. <laughs> okay, punk. <laughs> um. Feel a bit tired? Then go Betty buys. You're not coming back, girl. I know you're not. Gary says, the only real I will. You literally won't. <laughs> Watch me. Girl, you're going to sleep and you're not coming back. Okay, you know what, maybe... BRB, okay. <laughs> Good night, Shiny. It was nice knowing you. They also live in the same building, apparently. Oh, hello. Ah, it's the crime scene. There's, there's gotta be like a security thing security console type thing maybe in the basement because i would like if i could go in God damn. That shit just barely misses me. Someone's asleep in here? I can hear snoring?
Right, outgoing. He lives in 303. Let's see. There's someone in, in Yahtzee Heights that called. <clears throat> it's a bathroom. Hello. Okay, well, you're immediately rude to me, so I'm leaving. Um, We're going back up to the fourth floor. Because theoretically, Juan should not be there anymore. It's also very convenient that he lives literally a floor above where the murder happened. So. Mm. Wait, shit. Oh my god, is he still in? He should be at work. He's still in his house. We'll go. I'm gonna go back to the office. Oops, I keep pressing the wrong button.
tiny man. Tiny. <clears throat> Oops. <laughs> this game is hard, man. And I've been on fucking easy mode. <laughs> I'm cold. Yeah. Lizard kid, hello, thanks for the follow. Lizard kid has joined the smack. Bro, why is shit so laggy?
<laughs> They're dead. Okay, so now I have his fingerprints. Somewhere. I don't know where. The Grand. And people are weird. Okay, I'm so sorry, but I'm so tired. My brain has stopped working. Uh, and my period is here. And I'm cramping. So. <laughs> A bitch gotta go. <laughs> A bitch really gotta go. Holy shit, my ass is being handed to me right now. <laughs> Okay, who is alive that I could raise? Lita is doing a cherry thing. Let's go. Wait, are they? Are they sleeping? You know, we'll go fell, fell no way. Never say that name never ever say it correctly but by god are they adorable <laughs> so we will go we'll go chill with them thank you for joining me everyone and listening to the D, D ramble and then watching me be very bad at the detective game well holy shit i would play more but i'm genuinely i am fucking exhausted <laughs> i'm so tired okay i We'll see you all next week, more than likely. <gasps> oh, my God, I'm so tired. Thank you all for joining me. Farewell. Mwah. Lots of love, kisses, etc.